People saying you're never gonna do it. I've been told that all my life that you can't do this, you can't do that. You shouldn't go to America, what if, what if. I'm like, I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. Instead of 15, I went into the gym, see my first uh, amateur bodybuilder around this area. And um, I started powerlifting. And then by 17, this amateur bodybuilder took me under his wing, started training together, and uh, literally blackmailed me into doing my first bodybuilding show. And actually, I classed myself as a bodybuilder the minute that I stepped on stage. As soon as I walked on, I knew that this sport was for me. And needless to say that uh, I was destined to be a bodybuilder. When I done the Mr. Will show, I done my own diet for the full 15 weeks, which consisted of zero carbs. Uh, at that show, I met IFBB Pro Neil Hill, who's still in my corner today. Now, he actually showed me what a contest diet should look like. Now, after winning the Mr. Wheels, the next progression is the Mr. Britain, the junior Mr. Britain for my case. There, I stepped on stage six pounds heavier within four weeks, better conditioning, um, again, I, I had no expectations going there. It was the biggest show and I was the youngest in the whole class. I was 19 years old and, and I had another two years in that class. And so I had no expectations about doing anything, just, you know, representing Wales at the British Championships. Um, well, I ended up winning the class out of a big junior under 21 class. And from there on, them, them pictures actually that were taken at that show ended up being posted on uh, message boards and, and then actually that's how I actually ended up coming over to America. And uh, they fought him to stay in a house uh, with fellow, a couple of fellow other professional bodybuilders. Uh, I had actually attended my first ever professional bodybuilding show which was the Ironman and uh, Gustavo Bodell won that year and he pre second. And uh, it was just an amazing thing for me to actually see the guys that I had grown up idolizing right in front of me. When I was in America, what you've got to imagine is the actual gyms over here, uh, the equivalent to, you know, a Walmart and a 7-Eleven. It's like I was training in a 7-Eleven and then all of a sudden I was thrust into a Walmart situation. People are saying you're never going to do it. and. Uh, I just love to prove people wrong. I've been told that all my life, that you can't do this, you can't do that. You shouldn't go to America, what if, what if. I'm like, I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. And um, I've got a, such a good mental state that, that, I'll, that I can do it. So again, the work is done in the gym and out of the gym. So I set my, my goal. I basically stepped on stage two years later um, and won the under, under 90s Mr. Wales title. Yeah, winning, winning the overall at the British Championships, I mean, it was a surreal experience. Um, of course I had trained for it, but up until that point you nearly really think about what that feeling is going to be like when you win. It's a goal that I've been aiming for since I picked up that book, you know, when I was 12 years old. It's, it's like looking like one of these bodybuilders. And um, I knew when I was a bodybuilder, like I said, when I was 17 years old, but I always aimed to get a pro cut. I always aimed, I, was, I knew and I wanted to be in America. You know, I always wanted to be an IFBB pro. I always wanted to make a living. And it's like when I sit here and think and give interviews like this is when it dawns on me, heck, I'm living the life, you know. Um, with regards to the British Championships and me winning the overall, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it you know lost for words exactly as I'm as I'm talking to you about. Well, Flex and I met back in 2006 between some mutual friends of ours um, that we knew. I shot him an email just saying, um, you know, it'd be it'd be great to meet you at the show. 
Um, he shot me in the email back, and for about two weeks, um, it was nonstop. Uh, it was a bing, bang, boom type of thing when we first met. It was straightforward. And now, which takes us to Tennessee, here two years later, getting ready for his pro show, getting married in three months. See the ring. The first time it was actually that I met Rich, Rich Spy, um, at the Iron Man Expo. And uh, needless to say, I was so nervous, I remember going up to talk to him. Rich probably can't even remember this totally, but um, I remember going to talk to him and uh, nervously asking for his autograph. Couldn't understand what the heck I was saying with his accent. Uh, so, uh, yeah, things have come a long way for, for his company, because I remember him being in a smaller booth. Uh, and he's blown up tremendously and uh, I like to think that my career has too so it's amazing where he was then and where I was then and where we are both now and I'd never thought that you know when I was growing up that I would actually be associated with one of my idols in this way. Since he signed with um, Gaspari at the Olympia last year um, it's been crazy it's been a whirlwind. I always said to myself if I was or oh, had the opportunity to stand behind the booth um, could I wholeheartedly be with the company and just get a paid the wage but yet not take their products? Now I've been brought up with morals and as I told you in the stories I would never be able to do that. Uh, so me being with Gaspari Nutrition using all their products wholeheartedly off season pre-contest now if you were to fly on the wall you'd be able to see that I use obviously different things off season to where my pre-contest is but I use the full product range, legitimately. And when people come up to me at shows and ask me questions on super pump, size on, plasma jet, I can legitimately tell them exactly what my experience have, have been and uh, what my results have been. Again, I've put on eight pounds this year, and the only thing that I've done is use Gaspar Nutrition for the first time in my off-season. I've used it pre-contest before, but I've used it for the first time in my off-season. Um, again, I've had great results. You know, Rich is one of these guys that Flex, as a teenager, was reading about in magazines, um, idolizing and aspiring to be like one day. And um, to actually have him as a boss now, um, not only a boss, but a friend. You know, he, he takes time out of his day and he calls him, um, checks up on him, sees how his trainings go, and shoots some emails, text messages, and, you know, anything like a friend would. After I won the British Championships in 2006, I had the opportunity to shoot again with We The Publications in California with Chris Lund. I'd shot prior to that and I shot when I was 20 years old, so I had a lot of uh, exposure from Flex Magazine prior. Um, Peter McGough actually phoned me up and I thought it was going to be cancelling a photo shoot. And I answered the call, I was actually shopping in Ralph's and he asked me, um, if I would like to come on board with Weeda. I thought it was a big joke. Peter's obviously British, so I said to him, stop pissing about. It's like a British expression. I said, Peter, stop pissing about. He said, he started laughing. I said, you, you're taking the piss. You la I said, are you joking around? He said, no, no, seriously. Would you like to join on board with Weeda? I mean, everybody knows who Weeda is in this industry. It was the Weeda weights that I started squatting with when I was 12 years old, you know, it's, it's uh, they're an icon in the industry, and I was like, uh, I don't know what I, didn't want to say, I just saw Sheena was shopping down the water, the other side of the aisle, we actually done the water, I, I said, Peter, I'm going to shout. And he's like, what? I said, yeah, I was still on the phone to him, I said, I'm going to just yell, I just needed to get some sort of expression out, so I just went, yeah, in the middle of, well, in the middle of Ralph's, like Walmart. And uh, he was laughing like anything on the phone, and, and then a couple of days later, I went up to the Weeder offices. Um, had the privilege and honour to meet Joe Weeder, who was never at the office. And I had, the, like I said, it was the right day, fate, whatever. Met him. We had a couple of photos with him on that day, and I signed the dotted line for Weeder, and I've been with them for you know over two years. Flex's training right now is um, is pretty much the same as it would be um, off season. He stays, you know, he stays pretty strong 
all the way up to his show. He lifts heavy. You know, he gets in, he puts the whole stack on, he trains um, like a power lifter. Um, he's got his training partner that helps him, that helps motivate him. But he gets in there, gets it done, he stays focused, and you know, he gets his job done. He's got a, he's got a show to win. As far as his training goes, he's the most intense machine I've ever I've ever had witness to. So he's put me through he's put me through a hurting and a beating and I've made more changes. My body has made more changes than it, it has the past ten years I've trained. So, you know, having this opportunity is once in a lifetime. Yeah, the uh, the training that we were doing tonight, um, Flex tends to train heavy all the way up to show. Uh, I didn't do that in the, in the past. I think that was my downfall uh, in, at my shows. But uh, bringing that into my routine along with him, it's, it, I mean, it's pushed me past the limit. Right now, Flex is the youngest active professional bodybuilder, um, and he's getting ready for his first pro show. Um, you know, Flex has never been defeated before. He's undefeated. Um, so this is huge. This is going to make a break. He's, I mean, his main goal is to get on that that Olympia stage. In order for him to get to that Olympia stage, the 202 showdown, um, he's either got to qualify at the Tampa or the Europa. Um, this means he's going to be stepping foot on stage, um, you know, next to guys that he's been reading about and idolizing for years. You know, so this is huge. This is really, really big for him. And, um, you know, he's never been so focused and driven before.